We have your week 14 injury updates as well as other updates that you need to be aware of going into this weekend slate of games. There's a lot of moving pieces at the quarterback position, so you're definitely going to want to stick around. But before we get into it, if you could hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, it would help us out a ton. Let's get into it. Quick shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Their products are precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Their performance package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. The bundle includes their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold it all. I've used Manscaped's lawnmower 3.0 long before they became a sponsor, and let me tell you, it is a game changer. Now they have their fourth generation trimmer that features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof and also has a 4000K LED spotlight to help you get a more precise shape. Manscaped products make a great holiday gift. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code LEU at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code LEU. Unlock your confidence this holiday season with Manscaped. Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson is dealing with a PCL sprain and is expected to miss one to three weeks with the injury. He has yet to be rolled out for Sunday's game, but Coach John Harbaugh said it's unlikely he'll be able to suit up putting Tyler Huntley in line to get the start Sunday against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Houston Texans are reverting their change at the quarterback position, going back with Davis Mills this week against the Dallas Cowboys. But the Houston Texans are dealing with a lot of injuries right now. Wide receiver Brandon Cooks dealing with a calf injury. He did not practice Wednesday or Thursday due to the injury. It's looking like he could miss another week. He was ruled out last week as well. As well as Nico Collins dealing with a foot injury. He did not practice Wednesday or Thursday. So you're going to want to monitor the situation going into the weekend, but it's looking like the Houston Texans may be shorthanded at the wide receiver position this week. The 49ers can't catch a break at the quarterback position with quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo dealing with the foot injury, expected to miss six to eight weeks with the injury. At first, there was thought that he would need surgery, but apparently he does not need the surgery now, but he will still miss six to eight weeks with the injury, giving him a slim chance to return if the 49ers do in fact make a deep playoff run. But Brock Purdy will get the start going forward. He came in last week after Jimmy Garoppolo left the game, had 37 passing attempts, completed 25 of them for 210. 10 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. This guy has a lot of weapons around him. Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle. So I think he will do just fine. Bengals running back Joe Mixon practiced in full on Wednesday is expected to clear concussion protocol and be available for Sunday's game against the Cleveland Browns. Seems like they've been keeping these guys in the concussion protocol longer than usual. Rightfully so, whatever's better for the player. But it's looking like the Bengals will have back Joe Mixon this week. Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence is dealing with a foot injury and is considered day-to-day -day with with the injury, he did not practice Wednesday or Thursday, so you're going to want to monitor his practice test going into the weekend. If he gets a limited practice in on Friday, I think he has a shot to play Sunday against the Tennessee Titans. If not, C.J. Beathard will likely get to start. Seahawks running back Ken Walker is dealing with the ankle injury and is considered day-to-day -day with the injury. He did not practice on Wednesday. We're still waiting for Thursday's practice report at the time of this recording, but you are going to want to monitor his practice test going into the weekend. If he's unable to suit up Travis Homer will likely get the start DJ Dallas is also dealing with some injuries so the Seattle Seahawks may be shorthanded at the running back position this week the Atlanta Falcons are making changes at the quarterback position announcing rookie quarterback Desmond Ritter as their starter for week 15 against the New Orleans Saints benching quarterback Marcus Mariota so Desmond Ritter likely the starter going forward for the Atlanta Falcons but that's going to do it for us today if you liked the video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel until next time let them up Thank you.